In this illustration, we'll discuss about the converging beam on a screen. Here in situation, we are given that a beam of light converges to the point O on a screen S1. And when a lens is kept in the path of the rays, the screen has to be moved away by 20 centimeter from the lens to get a clear image on a screen. And we are required to find the focal length of the lens if distance between initial position of lens and a screen is 10 centimeter. Here in this situation, as we are given that uh, the screen has to be moved away by 20 centimeter, that means the lens we are using uh, is a diverging lens. So, if a lens is placed in the path of a converging light beam, which was initially converging to a point which is on the screen S1. As soon as the lens is placed, it diverges the beam and it focuses the beam to some other point which is away from the initial point and the screen is to be moved to a position S2 which is 20 centimeter away from it. And uh, here we are given that when a lens is kept in the path of the rays, uh, the screen has to be moved away by 20 centimeter. And it is given that the initial distance between the position of lens and a screen is 10 centimeter. So here we can take this point uh, as a virtual object for this lens and this is the real image which is produced. So here uh, we can use we use lens formula as 1 by v minus 1 by u is 1 by f, where we can write uh, u is equals to plus 10 centimeter and v is equals to plus 30 centimeter. The focal length of uh, this lens we can take as f only. Now in this situation, if we substitute the values, this relation becomes 1 by 30 minus 1 by 10 is equals to 1 by f. So, on simplifying, this will give us 1 by f is equals to minus 2 by 30. This implies the value of focal length we are getting is minus 15 centimeter. So, this is the answer for this problem. Negative sign only indicates that the lens we are using is a diverging lens.